Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful day. Let's hop right into the gameplay. So, today I'm bringing you guys a Call of Duty World War II V2 Rocket gameplay. As always, whenever we play World War II, you know how it is. And yeah, I kind of cut this one up a little bit just to make you go a little bit faster. So you guys should see me getting the V2 Rocket here probably in the next 30 seconds. The last little bit I let play out. But I'm going to talk while the gameplay goes on, alright? Uh, quick thing I wanted to talk about was... The state of Call of Duty World War II right now in 2021, and it's crazy, man. Like, uh, I just want to talk about amount of people, the amount of people that are running requisitions still. Like, it's crazy. I understand that, you know, some people need that little buffer, I guess, to get streaked, but it is just insane. You guys will see it towards the end of this game the amount of requisition streaks that get called in there goes the v2 rocket and man look at this look how i died this guy was just spraying <laughs> i think he had a million bullets look at that yo he just got lucky i just so happened to be coming around the corner but luckily i had the v2 rocket already so i wasn't really sweating it but yeah you guys will see the sheer number of requisition users towards the end of uh this game they're gonna just be calling in uh, carpet bombing runs fire bombing runs uh, paratroopers i think it might have been a party of three to be honest uh they were because i played against these people before so i'm pretty sure uh i'm not 100 percent, but i want to say i'm like 90 percent sure that it's a party of three that are running requisitions uh there goes a v2 rocket landing awesome awesome got all of them all six of them i believe uh might have been five from the enemy team so yeah that was pretty legit got the ultra kill but yeah man it's just insane uh you guys will see how i kind of play i try to uh i guess manipulate the flag like i'll hop on the flag and then i'll kind of hop off to try to get the enemy to come towards me whenever i'm on the flag by myself because it doesn't really make sense for me to go ahead and cap a flag when no other teammates are near me because i might get halfway and then i get killed because three people are coming from three different directions to shoot at me so there's really no way to predict that so what i'll do is i'll hop on the flag and i kind of alert the enemy and they'll start moving towards that area and hopefully this gives my teammates enough time to get out of spawn if they're spawn trapped or it'll you know kind of crowd the enemy towards me in a certain area like for instance if i go on b flag i'll hop on it real quick and then hop off and then i'll push forward towards c flag because i know they're going to be most likely coming from that way yes they can come from behind me or they can come from the house but i want to say well over 60 percent of the time they're going to be coming from that c flag alleyway so i'll go ahead hop on the flag real quick and then probably get about 10% done and then I'll just hop off and push uh, towards their flag. There goes the first set of requisition streak. You saw the paratroopers. I just died from them twice. I didn't even think they were going to come that way. I was just like in the zone. And they called in a fire bombing run. Pretty soon you're going to hear copper, carpet bombing runs and all kinds of crazy things coming in. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. Uh, yeah, back to the flags. Uh, the same thing I'll do with A flag. I rarely jump on A flag on this map just because I don't run flag jacket that often. So if I sit on A flag, I'm going to get grenaded. I'm going to get C4, whatever you want to call it. It's going to kill me. Any kind of big explosion is going to kill me when I'm sitting on A flag. So the main flags that I try to cap on this uh, map are C and B flag. You'll see me play the B flag location like I'm doing right now. See, I hopped on a flag and then I was going to push and go towards C because I know they would be pushing that air. But the paratrooper ended up getting me. So I wasn't able to, you know, complete my plan. But yeah, it is a three man party. You can see they have the same uh, clan tags right there when I looked at the scoreboard. Uh, the game right after this, uh, I'm playing against, uh, I believe, another set of requisition users and all that. Uh, like I said, it is what it is. But that game, I just wanted to show off, not really show off, but kind of explain how uh, I play the, I guess the manipulation of the flags kind of deal. That one kind of shows it a lot more. Uh, I don't normally jump on the flag if I'm there alone, and I've said it before, I'm just reiterating, I just don't, you know, I wait for teammates to come close enough to me, and then if teammates are on the flag, I don't really care about getting the points from capping a flag, because I get the points from, you know, going on longer streaks, so what I will do is try to protect my teammates if they're on the flag, so you guys will definitely see it in the next game after this. Uh, I'll hop on a flag and then I'll just run through it, but I won't just completely leave the area. I'll go probably about 10 or 15 meters or so 
patrol that area, move back and forward, and kind of watch a certain angle and wait for my teammates to finish with the capping of the flag, and then I'll move on. Other times, if I know for sure that an enemy is, you know, spawning out, because uh, I watch the kill feed quite often, so if I see that, okay, five of the enemies have died, and I have four teammates on this flag, well, I don't need to wait for those six guys to show up, because they might never show up, but I know for a fact that five of them are going to be spawning back on their home flag, so I'll go ahead and I will push out, and I won't even stand around and wait for my teammates to cap the flag, because, come on, one dude taking out four or five of our teammates on the flag if they not that they can't do it but if they do it then yeah something's seriously wrong so I uh, just want to kind of explain uh, that kind of play style that I have I don't play like that often but I do it uh, whenever I'm going up against people that are um, I guess for lack of a better term they're being annoying so <laughs> I will play like that so right here you see me cap the home flag right off rip I hop on a turret and then I kind of patrol uh, you see it should cut here soon you're gonna see me patrol the middle so I go to the middle and I try to patrol that the reason why I'm patrolling the middle is just try to get my teammates like listen guys B flag is open you can hop on it I'm patrolling the mid you can if you're paying attention to the kill feed you see how many people that have died so go ahead and just stay on that flag and this is basically what I do I saw the sniper I'm like alright I just need to stay mid and you know we can just keep protecting A and B uh, but yeah times when teammates like this they try to hop on C flag then it just messes everything up and the enemy ends up getting A and then I have to backtrack all the way back over and try to cap our home base again but by the time I try to do that the enemy is already going to B flag so it just it messes up the entire flow I don't understand why teammates try to triple cap it doesn't help it doesn't make any sense but yeah you guys uh, just wanted to explain kind of a little bit uh, the play style that I was going for in these two videos but I'm gonna hop off here I know this was a little bit longer commentary than normal uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'll have music and all that in the background, and I will catch you guys in the next upload. Hopefully, it's Black Ops 3, so I'll try to upload that tomorrow or uh, the next day. So, yeah, catch you guys later. Peace out.
No, 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 no. This dude really wants to kill me. Damn it, I'm not gonna be able to hit it. We have way too many flights, Cap. Oh, we hit 80. Let's go. Dang, dude, that would have definitely been the 100 bomb if we weren't capping a flag so crazy. Yo, this was nice earlier. <laughs> 